you're around water, watch your surroundings. Mark Johnson hobbling with a cane and retracing his steps. About right here. As he recounts the frightening moments being grabbed by a gator while walking his dog Rex behind his home in Port St. Lucie. I look and the gator's beelining. Johnson was near the bank of this canal Sunday morning, but as he yells for Rex to run. This gator was coming in fast. He, uh, he was aggressive. He says his foot slips in the mud, giving the alligator a chance to lunge and attack. He starts uh, clamping down pretty tight, and he's starting to pull. And the next thing I do is instantly, you know, here's my fingers. I poke, do the eye poke. But the more than eight foot gator nearly dragging the 61 year old into the water, spinning with a tight hold on Johnson's leg, but his quick action likely saving his life. I had to do something. That's why you, I say you have seconds to react. FWC says a contracted nuisance alligator trapper removed the gator, transferring it to an alligator farm. Johnson now has more than 60 stitches, but is thankful he still has his leg and is telling his tale to help warn others. Luckily, you know. He opened up. He could have easily started tearing flesh, and after the flesh, you're talking bone and twisting, and that's a leg removal. 